It's been several years past now, but we mustn't ever forget that fateful day when our plump little friend here showed up beneath the Brooklyn Bridge to give us all one heck of a shock. It was a good time, but thank God for the NYCP, because they picked up this cutie pie before too many young children could experience the trauma of its ghastly appearance. Now, although the department provides many wonderful services for the city, they kind of dropped the ball here and released a statement claiming that it was a pig left over from a cookout. Say what, mate? Admittedly, the thing does look a bit piggly, but in important matters such as this one, you can't just throw out groundless claims, you gotta back them up. Come on, Shelly! So, a good place to start would be with animals' teeth. And you'd be surprised how much these small bones can actually give away. The three leading guesses proposed were that of a dog, a raccoon, or a rat. And the last one we can quickly dismiss, since rodents have highly specialized front incisors and a very distinct gap between them and the back molars. That leaves us with the previous two animals from the order Carnivora. And the basic dental formula for this category of species is three incisors, one canine, four premolars, and three molars, which this unknown animal more or less has, except for the large canines that appear to have been lost. But, 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 but a raccoon's diet differs from a dog's in a very important way. They eat less meat and more plant material, which explains why, rather than having sharp back teeth for shearing flesh, there's a more broad and lower crown for grinding. And that seems to fit with the jaws seen here. But to tip the scale just a tad bit further in support of the raccoon, we can look at its feet. They all have five toes and fingers as opposed to four in most dogs, and the front ones are long and slender, almost resembling human hands. This is very characteristic of a raccoon's. So although there isn't a complete consensus on the identity of this animal, at the very least we have a little bit of an understanding of its lifestyle. If you're interested in more cases of deformed and bloated creatures washing ashore, click on this link here to a new Animal Fives video, cause it will be fun and you'll like the way you look, I guarantee it. Once again, thanks for tuning in and giddy up.